Hi folks, this little video to show how I get started with C Sharp, GTK Sharp on Visual Studio Code Linux. Just for the background, I'm C Sharp beginner, so I don't know a lot of, about it. And why Linux? Because there are a lot more other documented ways. Because I just have an old computer that doesn't support Windows anymore and, and do no, didn't want to throw it away. So I used it and tried it. So let's get started about how uh, the four steps I did to, to get introduced to C Sharp, GTK Sharp on Linux, Visual Studio Code. First of all, the environment. For the environment, I used Visual Studio Code on Linux. Quite simple. When you go to Visual Studio Code on Linux here on the page, you get all the information you need to install it. Not a lot to say. Just dig in, look, try to find what's the best for you. Second step. Learn C Sharp. C Sharp is a very powerful tool. You have to get used to the vocabulary, methods, classes, etc. That's that's some stuff. You have to learn C sharp. So you have to go and read and search and look for it. One one step for me which which was good is go to the Microsoft page on C sharp with a lot of tutorials here. Uh, Microsoft uh, is uh, C Sharp is supported by Microsoft, so that's quite clear that they have uh, a lot of interest to do very good tutors, but they were very well made. Was pleasant to look at them. For our French friends, I have uh, other people who are doing good uh, good stuff, and uh, I have also some uh, for our French friends. Uh, find this one from Jason Champagne. Nice name, campaign to to work on C sharp, and uh, well, I can look at this and make the trials and make the examples uh, on the road like uh, with Visual Studio Code, and you just do and do and do and uh, work hard to get the right things done, and that's the way will you will learn C sharp. C Sharp is a very powerful tool, but nevertheless, for Windows, uh, you have uh, the WinForm, uh, WinForm. But I wanted to use an open source, which is GTK Sharp. The thing with GTK Sharp that you get not a lot of documentation, and you have. I uh, I spend a lot of time trying to find the. Uh, the things that I helped me the most. So uh, ju just to save you some time, I will uh, show you what I found, which was very useful to me. The first step in GTK Sharp by Z code, you can read it very, very uh, two shows of very nice examples, easy examples that work. That's not the case everywhere in the in the search in the searched examples. Another one which was very useful is uh, C sharp, the examples that were written. But here, take care; not all examples will work. Sometimes, when this two information did the. Uh, work out perfectly for me. I had to go back to the C Sharp Beginner's Guide for Mono. And the C Sharp Beginner's Guide for Mono, you get a lot of information, but you have to translate it into C Sharp to get the right things. But it helped me a lot. And to get my first GTK app, uh, I must, here I have used this video of a Frenchman here. That's why, uh, because it helped me, but we will do it on, uh, on, on the video, so it's, it's easier for me. So, I have an empty folder, say GTK. 
I will run in the terminal. If you don't get the terminal here. You have your new, new terminal. A new GTK app. Just to show you, here I work with .NET 6. I use the Glade includes GTK Sharp. Here I have the main window. We will run it. And meanwhile, so here, a basics, namespace, the class that is used with his builders. One thing very interesting is the UIs, object attributes, when you can direct link to the created objects. And we'll see, for instance, uh, button click delete events at no delete uh, well, and here you have the window for instance the button one clicked one thing which is very very important is that the glade builder built the the window items and the button items but it instantiates you also these items and that's going to be very helpful so let's just have a look at Glade. Glade builds you a window. So here's a window I have used, I have built with Glade. At the beginning, it seems a little bit uh, difficult, but you will see it's very easy to use. Yeah, it's like everything. You have to get work a little bit on it and you get used. You first create a top level window. For my case, I've used a GTK window. There are others. You, you could choose a message dialog. You will see GTK dialog. Play with it. You will see it's very, it's very easy. Once you get that window, you, you put in a container, several containers. In my case, I have used the GTK box. Here you see it. V box. V box because vertical box. It's very important to identify all those items because you go <laughs> these items are going to use, be used on, uh, in the coding. Look, orientation vertical, three items. You see here the items. First item, second item, scroll window, third item, a new GTK box made out of two two columns one is the label and the other one is uh, the uh, new G uh, G uh, button box and here you identify one of these buttons okay that said let's come to our application I have written with all those tools because that was very interesting, but a lot of he headaches when you do not get used to and uh, the thing didn't work as you want. So let's close the folder. Let's go to the new folder. Let's run the app to let you see. Okay, here you have a few actions to do actions. Okay, you can sort them out. You see, I've put an AAA to be sure that it's it's going to sort out. Here you have priorities, due time, realize time. Let's look. We get suppress these. We're going to act one, add one. Let's call it BBB to be easy to read, to see. Priority 
two, 27s, you add it, okay, because it's unrealized, it's gonna do. You choose, or you choose priority, whatever, you can modify it, to priority one, for tomorrow, it's realized, and day to day, modify it, so it goes to priority one, new date, again, game suppressed it, you can look at the actions which are non-realized and realized, and of course you can quit. Let's just have a look at the code. So the main window, to the window, call it to the window, or the building method using Glade, as we have seen before. The different events, ajouté means add, in French modifier means modify, it's easy, supreme is suppress, quit. Action toggle is for realized. On row activated is to activate the row. Here is add column to column to build the tree. So here are some methods to calculate to, uh, to calculate sorting. Here the creation of the list out of a, a text file, and here the saving of the list into the text file. Here the list text files very easy, not a big one. Here the clade. You see quickly here all the XML which uh, enables the declaration and the in instantiation of the items. Another window, adding window. So adding with the events and adding to the to-do list of the new values. Modifying, a little bit more tricky because you have to get the values and then change them. You know, modify clicked, you have the new the new values. Here you have to go around the combo box text and uh, go to a combo box and create a, a, a little priority list. I've done it that way. Surely a few other ways to do it. And the realize toggle you have seen underneath the when I showed you the application. Same for suppressing a window, showing the suppressing event. And here I had to, to look at uh, a new event handler because uh, when you get the destroy of the window, you not always get the, the right event in the main window back again. So you had to, to uh, create an event handler to come uh, for coming back because uh, I have uh, uh, I have blocked the sensitivity of, of certain buttons in the main window, and when this window closes, yeah, I have to get back the sensitivity of the buttons. And as the destroy event doesn't work properly to get back that information again, I had to create a new event handler. Here it is. Okay, you will see in the code how it works. So, guys, that's it. Here is how I learned to start into C Sharp, GTK Sharp under Visual Studio Code. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps you, save you time of searching information and wish you a pleasant flight in flying with the CTK, GTK Sharp and the C Sharp.